Hello friends, welcome to UPSC Logics and this is part 10 of the revision series we are having on Constitution of India. So this is in continuation with the UPPSC special and this particular video contains around 200 questions in one line format and contain topics like the Prime Minister, Auditor General, Attorney General, various bills and the Parliament. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Who announces the government policies on the floor of the house? It is the Prime Minister. He is also the head of the government. The office of the Prime Minister has been created by the Constitution. The Prime Minister is appointed by the President. He is the real executive under the Indian Constitution. He is also the chief spokesperson or spokesman of the Union Government. He also holds the position of the Chairman of the Niti Aayog and the National Development Council. He is the leader of the majority party in the Lok Sabha and he holds office as long as he enjoys confidence of the parliament. And he has to be a member of the Lok Sabha to become the Prime Minister. Who recommends for the dissolution of Lok Sabha? It is the Prime Minister. Who presides over the meeting of Council of Minister? It is again the Prime Minister. Who acts as the channel of communication between the President and the Council of Ministers? It is the Prime Minister. Who is the keystone of the Indian Constitution? The Prime Minister. Who describes the Prime Minister of India as primus inter pare, first among equals, that was Lord Morley. The member of Council of Ministers are appointed by the President on the advice of Prime Minister. A person can be a member of Council of Ministers without being an MP for a maximum period of six months. Who enjoys distinction of having been the Prime Minister of India for longest duration? That was Indira Gandhi. Who became the Prime Minister of India without becoming a Union Cabinet Minister? It was H.D. Devi Goda. Which state of India has contributed to the maximum Prime Ministers? It is Uttar Pradesh. Maximum number of no confidence motion were admitted and discussed during the Prime Ministership of P.V. Narsimha Rao. The first Prime Minister of India was appointed by the Governor General. The office of the Deputy Prime Minister is an extra constitutional growth. Indian constitution is silent on the concept of Deputy Prime Minister. Who enjoys the distinction of being the first Deputy Prime Minister of India? It was Sardar Vallabhai Patel. Lal Krishna Advani is the seventh Deputy Prime Minister. Which one of the following motion can be moved by the government? It is a confidence motion. Which one of the following statement is correct? The Prime Minister of India has full discretion in the choice of persons who are to serve as ministers in his cabinet. Which of the following enjoys the distinction of being the first recognized leader of the opposition in Lok Sabha? It was YB Chavan. A political party is accorded status of an opposition party in the Lok Sabha if it captures at least 10% of seats. Collective responsibility of the cabinet means all ministers are collectively responsible to or the Union Council of Ministers is responsible to the Lok Sabha. Who enforces collective responsibility among the Council of Ministers? It is the Prime Minister. The phrase under the Article 74, there shall be a Council of Ministers with the Prime Minister as its head is mandatory. Who presides over the meeting of Council of Ministers? It is the Prime Minister. The Council of Ministers is collectively responsible to the Parliament. Who allocates portfolio among Council of Ministers? It is the President on the recommendation of the Prime Minister. A member of Council of Ministers can be dismissed by the President on the recommendation of the Prime Minister. A vote of no confidence is passed against a Minister. In this case, the whole Council of Ministers has to resign. Though the Council of Ministers is collectively responsible to the Parliament, the individual Ministers are responsible to the President. 
the president of india is not bound by the aid and advice of the council of ministers in the matter of appointment of union ministers how many seats have been reserved for the union territories in the lok sabha 20 the number of ministers in the central government is fixed by the parliament seats are allocated to various states in the lok sabha on the basis of their population who among the following can initiate an amendment to the indian constitution either house of the parliament which state sends the maximum representatives to the lok sabha it is uttar pradesh the 42nd amendment raised the term of the lok sabha to 6 years the term of lok sabha can be extended beyond its normal term of 5 years by the president during national emergency only The president can extend the life of the Lok Sabha during a national emergency in the first instance for a period of 1 month. The continuation of national emergency beyond a period of 6 months is possible only with the approval of parliament by the special majority. What is the maximum gap in months permissible between two sessions of a parliament? 6. Who can dissolve the Lok Sabha before the expiry of its normal term of 5 years? president on the recommendation of prime minister which of the following statement correctly describes a hung parliament a parliament in which no party has clear majority the president can call a joint session of the two houses of the parliament if the house does not take any decision for 6 months on a bill remitted by the other if a bill passed by one house is rejected by the other if the amendment proposed to a bill by one house is not acceptable to the other in the rajya sabha the states have been provided representation on the basis of population the maximum number of representatives are sent to rajya sabha by uttar pradesh who reserved the right to convene joint sessions of the lok sabha and rajya sabha it is the president Representatives of the union territories in the Rajya Sabha shall be chosen by the parliament. Which one of the following is not a central tax? It is sales tax. A money bill can originate only in the Lok Sabha. Which of the following bills can be introduced in the parliament only with the prior approval of the president? It is money bills. A bill for which the president is bound to give his assent. without sending it back for fresh consideration is a money bill which one of the following bills must be passed by each house of the indian parliament separately by special majority constitutional amendment bill how many times the president can return a non money bill passed by the parliament for reconsideration once the rajya sabha is a permanent house but one third of its member retire every 2 years A money bill passed by the Lok Sabha can be delayed by the Rajya Sabha for a maximum period of 14 days. Which of the following sets of bill is presented to the parliament along with the budget? It is the finance bill and the appropriation bill. The prime minister acts as a channel of communication between ministry and the president. Cabinet ministers have to tender their resignation if a no confidence vote is passed against them in the Lok Sabha. In which system the government can be removed by way of a no confidence motion it is the parliamentary form of government who will determine the rank of different ministers in union and state council of ministers it is the prime minister and the chief minister which of the following powers is exclusively vested in the rajya sabha to recommend the creation of a new all india services who is the first woman film star nominated or elected to rajya sabha it is nargis dat No taxes can be levied or expenditure incurred without the approval of parliament. Who decides disputes regarding the disqualification of MPs? The president in consultation with the election commission. Election to the Lok Sabha could not be held in Punjab in December 1984 due to uncertainties created by growing terrorist activities. Who decides whether a bill is a money bill or not or If any question arises whether a bill is money bill or not the decision of the speaker of the Lok Sabha is final All money bills can be introduced in the Lok Sabha only 
Who is the first speaker of the Lok Sabha who died in office? It was GMC Bala Yogi. Who presides over the Lok Sabha if neither the speaker or the deputy speaker is available? A member appointed by the president. If there is a disagreement between the two houses of the parliament on any particular bill, a joint setting of the two houses of parliament is convened. In the Indian constitution, the budget is referred as annual financial statement. During the discussion in parliament, Guita applies to demand on grants. Which assembly is presided over by a non-member? It is the Rajya Sabha. The chairman of the Rajya Sabha has a vote in case of a tie. The secretary general of a Lok Sabha, who is the chief of the Lok Sabha secretariat, is appointed by the speaker. The Parliament of India cannot be regarded as a sovereign body because number one, of the presence of certain fundamental rights to the citizens, number two, its authority is confined to jurisdiction earmarked by the constitution, and number three, laws passed by the Parliament can be declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. The Parliament of India exercises control over administration through parliamentary committees. The speech made by a MP on the floor of the House cannot be questioned in any court of law. The Parliament works through numerous committees whose members are either appointed by the Speaker or are elected by the House. The Speaker of the Lok Sabha makes use of his slash her casting vote only in case of a tie that is when the votes are equally divided. Lok Sabha Secretariat works under the direct supervision of the Speaker. Lok Sabha passes votes on account to meet the expenditure during the period between the introduction of budget and its passage. A half an hour discussion can be raised in the House after giving notice to the Secretary General of the House. A MP enjoys immunity from prosecution for having said anything in the Parliament and its committees. The final decision whether an MP of Lok Sabha has incurred disqualification under the defection law rests with the Speaker. Who presides over the Lok Sabha if neither the Speaker or Deputy Speaker is available? A member of the panel of chairmen announced by the Speaker. The function of the pro temporary Speaker is to swear in members and hold charge till a regular Speaker is elected. Which one of the following are the financial committees of the Parliament of India? The Public Account Committee, Estimates Committee and the Committee of Public Undertakings. The Public Account Committee submits its report to the Speaker of the Lok Sabha. The CAG acts as a friend, philosopher and guide to Public Accounts Committee. Which of the following committees of the Parliament is concerned with the regularity and economy of expenditure? It is the Public Accounts Committee. Who of the following is considered the custodian of the Parliament? It is the Speaker of the Lok Sabha. A member after being elected as Speaker of Lok Sabha generally cuts off his connection with his party. The following is correct definition of the term whip state in which all the members of the political party are required to be present in the parliament and vote according to the instructions of the party. Who among the following may, be, may belong to Rajya Sabha but can speak in both the houses? It is the ministers who are MPs of Rajya Sabha. Which one of the following statements regarding the office of the speaker is correct? If he intends to resign, the letter of his resignation is addressed to the deputy speaker. The following statement is correct. The term of Lok Sabha can be extended by one year at a time. Which one of the following Lok Sabha enjoyed the term of more than five years? It was the fifth Lok Sabha. The difference between the two houses of the parliament are resolved through or disagreements between the two houses of the Indian parla parliament is finally resolved by which of the following processes? A joint session of the two houses. The quorum or minimum number of members required to hold a meeting of either house of the parliament is one-tenth. Which of the following states sends the largest number of MPs to Lok Sabha after Uttar Pradesh? It is Maharashtra. 
Under the new committee system launched in April 1993, out of the 17 standing committees, six are constituted by the chairman of the Rajya Sabha and 11 by the speaker of the Lok Sabha. The term closure in parliamentary terminology means stoppage of debate at on a motion. No confidence motion against Council of Ministers can be introduced in the Lok Sabha. Who was the first Chief Justice of India? Harlal J. Kanya. The principles of natural justice do not require to follow instructions strictly by the superior office officer. Who interprets the Indian Constitution? It is the Supreme Court. Which article provides that law laid by Supreme Court is binding on all courts of India? It is Article 141. Which article empowers the Supreme Court to review its own judgment? It is Article 137. The judge of the Supreme Court are appointed by the President in consultation with the Chief Justice of India. The judges of the Supreme Court hold office till they attain the age of 65 years. One of the qualifications to become the judge of a Supreme Court is, in the opinion of the President, he must be a distinguished jurist. The Supreme Court holds its meetings at New Delhi, but it can meet elsewhere with the approval of the President. For criminal misconduct, the judge of the Supreme Court can be prosecuted. In the event of non-availability of Chief Justice of India, an acting Chief Justice can be appointed by the President. The judges of the Supreme Court can be removed by the President on the recommendation of the Parliament. The judge of the Supreme Court can be removed on the grounds of proven misbehavior by the President if the Parliament passes a resolution with two-thirds majority present and voting. The Supreme Court of India is a court of record which implies that all its decisions have evidentiary value and cannot be questioned in any court. It has the power to punish for its contempt. The Supreme Court tenders advice to the President on matters of law or fact only if he seeks such advice. The advice of the Supreme Court is not binding on the President. All cases involving an interpretation of the Constitution fall within the original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Power of the Supreme Court to decide matters or disputes between the center and states fall under its original jurisdiction. Original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of India relates to disputes between union and states. The Supreme Court has original jurisdiction in all interstate disputes. Under the advisory jurisdiction, the Supreme Court gives its opinion to the President. Appellate jurisdiction of the Supreme Court does not include appeals against writs. Appellate jurisdiction of the Supreme Court in appeal from High Court in regards to civil matters pertains only to substantial question of law. Who has the power to enlarge the jurisdiction of Supreme Court with respect to any matter contained under the Union List? It is the Parliament. Which of the following statement refers to epistolary jurisdiction of the Supreme Court? These are taking cognizance of the concerned matter through letters addressed to the court. Who has the power to increase the number of judges of the Supreme Court? It is the Parliament. Ad hoc judges can be appointed in the Supreme Court by the Chief Justice of India with the prior per consent of the President. Ad hoc judges can be appointed to the Supreme Court if requisite number of judges are not available to hold the meeting of the court. How many judges of the Supreme Court have been removed from their offices before the expiry of their normal term through impeachment? None. Which conditions do not contribute to the independence of the Indian judiciary? Once appointed, the judges cannot be removed from their offices before the date of retirement. In which case did the Supreme Court restore the primacy of fundamental rights over directive principles of state policy? It was the Minerva Mill case. Any act violating Article 13, Part 2 of the Constitution shall be declared as unconstitutional by Supreme Court. Appeal by special leave means Supreme Court granting it 
in its discretion special permission to appeal from any judgment passed by any court the framers of the constitution borrowed the idea of judicial review from the constitution of usa the concept of judicial activism gained currency in india in the 1990s judicial activism has led to increase in the powers of the judiciary the concept of judicial review is borrowed from the constitution of united states of america the framers of the constitution adopted the doctrine of judicial review to ensure proper working of the federal system of government it became imperative for the framers of indian constitution to adopt the doctrine of judicial review because of adoption of federal system of government which amendment curtailed the supreme court slash high court's power of judicial review it was the 42nd constitutional amendment act 1976 while imparting justice the supreme court relies on the principle of procedure established by law on which list does the union government enjoy exclusive powers it is the union list in india power of judicial review is restricted because constitution is supreme on which list does the state enjoy exclusive jurisdiction it is the state list the subject of national importance were enumerated under the union list subjects like defense and external affairs are enumerated under list 1 subjects of local importance are enumerated under list 2 the constitution of india vests the residuary powers in the union government in case of conflict between the central and state laws on the subject in concurrent list law of the center prevails the concept of concurrent list is borrowed from the constitution of australia at the time of accession to the dominion the states exceeded only three subjects these were defense foreign affairs and communication The Constitution of India has created a very strong center which among the following subjects is transferred from state list to concurrent list by the 42nd constitutional amendment or we can also say that which subject was transferred from state list to concurrent list by the 42nd constitutional amendment act 1976 and this was education a law passed by the state legislature on a concurrent list gets precedence over the central law if it was approved by the president water disputes between the states shall be decided by a body appointed by the parliament a tax shall not be levied or collected except by the authority of law the main purpose to impose taxes is to run the machinery of the state the provision regarding division of taxes between union and state can be suspended during national emergency The procedure of amendment of the Indian Constitution is partly rigid and partly flexible. The amendment procedure of the Constitution of India has been modeled on the constitutional pattern of South Africa. Which article of the Indian Constitution deals with the amendment procedure? It is Article 368. Which was the lengthiest amendment of the Constitution? It was the 42nd Constitution. constitutional amendment act 1976 and it is also known as a mini constitution of india which amendment affirmed the right of the lok sabha to amend any part of the constitution it was the 24th constitutional amendment act the 24th amendment became necessary as a result of the supreme court judgment in the golaknath case 1967 After a bill is passed by the parliament it is sent to the president for his assent who can return it for reconsideration to the lok sabha but if the bill is repassed and sent to the president for his assent he has to sign it if finance minister fails to get annual budget passed in the lok sabha the prime minister can submit resignation of his cabinet the comptroller and auditor general acts as a guardian of public finances The CAG is appointed by the president. The CAG holds office for a term of 6 years. 
the comptroller and auditor general can be removed from his office before the expiry of his term by the president on the recommendation of the parliament the salary and allowances of cag are paid out of the consolidated fund of india the salary and allowances of the comptroller and auditor general are determined by the parliament the constitution secures the independence of the comptroller and auditor general by number 1 making the removal of cag very difficult number 2 providing that his salary and service condition shall not be changed to his disadvantage and number 3 by giving the cag complete control over his administrative staff the comptroller and auditor general performs only audit functions the comptroller and auditor general submits his annual report regarding the center to the president The Office of Comptroller and Auditor General of India was created under the Constitution. The CAG is intimately connected with the following committee of the President. It is the Public Accounts Committee. The CAG presents a detailed review of union accounts to the Union Finance Ministry every 12 months. The CAG does not edit audit the account of municipal bodies. The CAG has to submit the audit report of the center and state governments before the president and the governor which one of the following is the most important item of expenditure of the government of india on the revenue account it is the interest payments the attorney attorney general of india is the highest legal officer of the union government the attorney general of india is appointed by the president the attorney general of india holds office during the pleasure of the president Which of the following duties slash functions have been assigned to Attorney General of India? It is to render legal advice to the central government. Who of the following acts as a chief legal advisor to the government of India? It is the Attorney General. If the Attorney General of India wishes to tender his resignation before the expiry of his term, he has to address his resignation to the President. Who has the right to participate in proceedings of the Parliament even though he is not an MP? it is the attorney general of india the three types of civil services envi- envisaged under the constitution are all india services central services and state services which article provides for the composition of finance commission it is article 280 the finance commission has a term of 5 years the finance commission consists of five number of members So friends this brings us to the end of this particular video I hope you have enjoyed it and in the next video which would be part 11 we shall cover another 200 odd questions on the same topic and I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you are watching it for the first time do like and subscribe to this channel if you are a regular subscriber and haven't pressed the bell icon do so to get the latest notifications from UPSC logics and thank you so much for watching this and jai hind